Today marks one year since a monumental Supreme Court decision to overturn Roe versus Wade, which protected abortion. It is a divisive topic for many Americans, including in New Mexico. This weekend, political leaders on both sides of the aisle are sharing different messages. And so over the past 365 days, the women of our nation have suffered under the consequences of these laws. One year ago today, because of your work and because of your prayers, the Supreme Court of the United States sent Roe versus Wade to the ash heap of history where it belongs and gave America a new beginning for life. New Mexico Democratic Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is announcing a new initiative. It is set to make it easier to access reproductive health care in our state. Tamara Lopez explains. It's been one year since the U.S. Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade, the landmark decision that legalized abortion nationwide. Since then, state laws here have been put in place to protect access to abortions and reproductive health care. Earlier this year, New Mexico Democrats enshrined into law House Bill 7. Tara Shaver with Abortion Free New Mexico says it's been a landmark year for her group. So this past year has been really amazing in terms of activating the pro-life community to really band together and become a greater resource for women. New Mexico is currently one of the states that has legal access to abortions. According to Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham's office, there were over 11,000 reported abortions statewide last year. Of those, over 6,000 were from out-of-state patients. And on Friday, the governor unveiled a new hotline meant to help women with questions about reproductive health care, including abortion access. Shaver says she's not opposed to the hotline completely. I can certainly appreciate that, you know, the governor is trying to make an effort to provide resources for women. The pro-life community is so vibrant and we have so much to offer. However, local abortion facilities, the Department of Health, um, even public schools are not willing to share our information about the resources that are available. So I feel like this hotline is probably going to serve one purpose, and that's to promote abortion and birth control. A spokesperson from the governor's office says the hotline is run by nurses already working at the Department of Health. They're from the epidemiology division who helped with the COVID-19 hotline. Shaver says she doesn't want women to travel to New Mexico though. You know, it's a disservice to them because, you know, women deserve so much better than abortion. Women deserve to know, again, other options that are available to them. The governor's spokesperson says the hotline is also meant to connect women with housing and transportation needs as well. Tamara Lopez, KOB4. The hotline is already active and open seven days a week. We'll have that phone number and hours on our website, KOB.com.